All right, guys, today we're going to catch some bullets. All right, guys, we're going to fill up the patented bullet catching device with patented bullet catching material. It's actually a coffee can and dirt, but they say that dirt is the best bullet stopper in the world. We're about to find out. I'm hoping to catch some bullets, show you the mushroom texture to them, and I have three different kinds of bullets that I'm going to try out today, and I'll show those to you in just a second. All right, so I brought out the AR-15 today. There it is. Beautiful rifle. And I want to catch three different rounds, uh, three different types of AR-15 ammunition here. Uh, actually, I have the Wolf Polyformance. This is a steel case uh, round, and this is a 55 grain bullet loaded to 223 spec. And then I have some XM193. This is uh, NATO ammunition. This is loaded to 556 specs, and this is also 55 grain bullet. So these two have the same bullet weight. And then I have some XM855. This is the NATO, this is also to 556 NATO spec. And these are 62 grain bullets. Uh, so these are a little bit heavier than the other two. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Wolf, which is a 55 grain bullet, steel case. And I'm gonna hit that uh, coffee can out there. Here we go. All right, now let's do the uh, XM193. This is also a 55 grain bullet. So it's the same bullet weight, but this is a brass case and it's loaded to NATO 5.56 specs. All right, guys, and finally the XM855, the dreaded green tip. Let's see what this does. Okay, so the wind picked up significantly during this part of the recording uh, to the point where I wasn't able to use the video. So I decided to uh, just use some still frames, uh, still shots from the, the video and do a voiceover for you and give you a closer look at the bullets and uh, what I was able to dig out of the dirt. Okay, there is the Wolf 55 grain bullet and right underneath it is what I was able to dig out of the dirt. Uh, I think that's probably... Uh, most of the bullet there. Uh, there might have been a few fragments that I missed, but that was all that I was able to to find in the dirt. So that's uh, probably a pretty complete uh, bullet mushroom there. And there is the XM193 NATO round. And as you can see, there's a pretty good chunk there and a little piece off to the side that I was able to recover. Uh, most likely a little fragment of the jacket but the majority of the bullet is there. Uh, they're again kind of balled up, and uh, that was all I was able to find on that one. And finally, the XM855. Um, as you can see, this one fragmented uh, considerably more than the others. Uh, the others are a lead core bullet, where this is a lead core bullet with a steel tip. And I was really hoping to be able to locate the steel tip and show that to you. But one of those pieces might be the steel tip. It's just kind of hard to tell. Uh, but there was one more thing that I wanted to do, so let's go check that out. What I do have here is uh, the 762 NATO. I brought the PTR back out too. So I want to hit an, uh, another one of the coffee cans and see if I can catch one of these. And uh, you know, hopefully it won't break apart too much. Get a better mushroom for you to see. All right, well, that hit really hard. That hit a lot harder than the 223 and 556. Uh, it knocked the can over. I hit it a little low, but still pretty solid uh, hit right there. Obviously solid, it knocked it for a loop. 
most of the dirt came out and bulged out the back. Now, I don't know if that's an exit, uh, exit hole or if it just tore the back from the pressure. Now, I'm going to look around here and see if I can find, find the bullet. Well, I don't know guys, I don't see a bullet in there. Um, I think that might have just gone right through, which actually really surprises me. They say that dirt is the best bullet stopper. Uh, this thing was filled with dirt and rocks, and I do not see a bullet in there. That, uh, that is pretty amazing. Um, I'm gonna keep digging here. If I find it, I'll show it to you. All right, guys. Well, I tried to find that uh, 762 by 51 for you. Um, <laughs> I I don't know where it went. Um, if it's out there buried in the dirt, I couldn't find it. Uh, the bullet weight for the 762 by 51 is nearly three times. And it's not traveling as fast, but it still hits really hard. So you got to see a little bit of what uh, bullet fragments look like when they go in dirt. Um, I'll bring the PTR out again uh, soon and, and try that test again and maybe with another rifle too to do a comparison. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.